Is this the cheapest touchscreen Chromebook and is it any good? Let's take a look at this, the Asus C204MA 11.6 inch Chromebook. There are a few variations out there, including non-touch ones, so check the video description for a full model reference. I put a tweet out in July. This was available for just £99 in the UK on Amazon Prime Day. That's about US$170, US dollars, and you can check out my YouTube short here or click on TikTok and see it there for the unboxing and my initial impressions. All links I mention, including those, are in the video description. Now let's get into the full review. This particular model has the Intel Celeron N4020 processor with 4GB of RAM. It's running 64-bit Chrome OS and that's going to see updates all the way through to the AUE date of June 2027. The processor is even fine with a bit of light gaming like Roblox, so stick around to the end of the video if you want to see that. In the hand, you immediately notice how well put together this is. It feels very solid. It's meant to be designed to be pretty rugged, I think mainly to survive in the classroom. The textured top gives it that bit of extra grip and looks good. It is an all-plastic build and it weighs about 2.63 pounds, so it's not the lightest or the heaviest Chromebook of this size. On the bottom of the machine, you're going to see the rubber feet to give it support and grip on the most surfaces and the two speaker grills that you can see in the bottom left and bottom right as I hold it this way round. Keep watching, I'll demo those later in the video as well. And then in the top right, you can see the maintenance hatch, which you can get into after removing a single screw. On the right hand side of the Chromebook, you've got a full size USB-A port, a USB-C port for power data and display out and a Kensington lock port. And then over on the left, you've got a second USB-C port, a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack and a second full size USB-A port. So a good range of connectivity here. And nice to see the dual USB-C on a budget model like this so you can charge on either side of your desk. Really practical. The keyboard is okay given the price. The keys do feel very plasticky as you can imagine. Asus say it's anti-tamper so the keyboard is designed so you can't pry the keys out. I haven't tried too much but it seems to be true due to the sloped edges. And whilst the keys have fair travel to them it is a bit mushy but it's also spill resistant and as I say we have to keep the price point in mind. The trackpad is relatively small but feels strong and well put together. It's not loose like some can feel at this more budget end of the Chromebook market, so I've really got no complaints there. The screen can go back 180 degrees, but this isn't a convertible model, so no tablet mode. It's an HD touchscreen and has a matte finish rather than a glossy finish, so it's not the brightest in this sector and the viewing angles aren't the best. But if you're in front of it, there's certainly no issue and it gets fairly bright, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more in the brightness levels. The bezels are fairly large, as you may expect in a model like this, and it's not always a bad thing, though. So think about if your kids are using this and they might be tempted to move or pick the Chromebook up by the edges of the screen they could actually help. There's a 0.3 megapixel webcam in the usual position at the top of the screen which is adequate but as you can imagine nothing too special. With the Intel Celeron N4020 processor performance and battery life give nothing to complain about here as you'll have seen with other Chromebooks with that processor on the channel. The battery will easily last over a day's average use. Light gaming with Android games like Roblox is certainly no issue either as you can see here. I'm using the £8 X Rocker controller I picked up and I'll link you to my Chromebook gaming playlist if you want to see a video on that and others, that's in the video description. You can hear the speakers here a bit, but for a better test next, I'll play you an outro of one of my other videos. As I showed you at the start of the video, the speakers are positioned underneath the Chromebook. That's not usually ideal, but these ones do thankfully get fairly loud, and whilst the quality isn't amazing, it's certainly not as bad as I've heard on some other entry-level Chromebooks. Let's hear the outro. As always, do let me know your questions and thoughts on this ASUS down in the comments. For me, I think at the right price point, it's an easy one to recommend, especially as a first Chromebook. If you want to compare it to another 11.6 inch Chromebook offering from ASUS that's fully convertible and even comes with a stylus, then be sure to check out this next video. It's my review of the ASUS C214MA Chromebook. Cheers.